Yo guys, what's going on? My name is Justin Godsey, the owner and operator of the Nation Sportsblog.com here with new Nebraska recruit Johnny Stanton. Johnny, what's going on, man? Doing good. How are you, man? I'm doing good, bro. Thank you so much for tuning um joining us actually. Now you're coming off your high school championship game. How are you feeling at this point? I'm doing really well. Um no, I mean you know, I'm coming off my ACL surgery and um you know, I'm about four months out of out of, uh, off of surgery now and um you know, I'm just doing a lot of rehab and uh, working out a lot, you know, trying to get back to 100 percent now you're coming off your your um, surgery, like you said. Now I told I told you guys about the uh, his uh, the playoff game that he was just in. Can you tell us about that game? Uh, well, actually, we came uh, we won our state championship uh, last year uh, after my junior year, and um, but you know the, that that game was was very cool. It was um, you know I think we, I thought we really came together as a team. It was definitely our, our best t- uh, game as a team together. Um, the uh, offense. Uh, made huge plays and the defense stopped the stopped them when we needed to and you know um you know Bellarmine we played Bellarmine High School from um San Jose and you know it was definitely one of the one of the you know coolest games I've ever played during your well, you went you you went to Santa Margarita High School, Catholic High School, in California. You were known as Johnny Tebow. Am I am I right on the nickname Johnny Tebow? Yes. How did you get that name and how did it start? Um, well, some of my friends uh, started calling me Johnny Tebow, you know, just said, um, because I would, I, I guess I kind of play like him a little bit, um, which I think is very, um, you know, it's kind of humbling. It's, I think it's, it's, um, it's very cool to be able to be, you know, compared to him. Um, and, uh, you know, he's a great player. I think, he, you know, I love the way that he carries himself on and off the field, and um, I would love to be able to emulate the way that he, you know, he's um, out there in the community and uh, helping out uh, in, in the community around, um, you know, not only in, you know, in Jacksonville and you know, Florida, but, you know, he helps out wherever he is. Now, me and you are both seniors in high school right now. You're having a really entertaining and exciting senior year. Now, your senior year of football has officially came to an end. You were able to go to Arlington, Texas at the Cowboys Stadium and join 10 other top quarterbacks in the nation for ESPN's Elite 11. How excited were you to get the invite to Elite 11? No, I was very excited. Um, you know, it was actually in the... Uh, in Redondo Beach, California, and you know a lot of the guys, a lot of the guys came from uh, around the country and um, came out to uh, came out. And I was pretty, much, I was probably one of the closer guys. Um, just just had to go up, go up the um, the freeway up to near LA. Um, but you know the Elite Eleven was awesome. It was um, I got to learn from so many great coaches. I got to you know make relationships with with guys who I'm going to be playing against for the next four years. And great experience, and I learned a lot from it. During the uh, Elite Eleven weekend, you worked out with top quarter, well, not top quarterbacks, uh, uh, Hall of Fame quarterbacks, and one quarterback in particular, quarterback Trent Dilfer, who used to play for the Baltimore Ravens. What did Trent Dilfer teach you, and how will that help you when you go to Nebraska next fall? Well, you know, um, one of the things he really stressed was mental toughness. Um, one of the things that we did on the um, on the trip was um, we had to get up at five o'clock in the morning, probably earlier than that, but we got to. We got to the, um, the beach at five o'clock in the morning and did a Navy SEAL workout. And it wasn't just, it, it was, the the workout wasn't necessarily to see how um, how strong you were and how well you could you know you know do a Navy SEAL workout, but it was mostly just trying to get through the very very hard experience with um, with the guys who, who you've never known before. And um, it's kind of like going right into the uh, you know going into a team in, in the summer uh, for for uh, college football and having to go through all the conditions with guys that you haven't worked out with before, but, you know, you have to make a bond with them to be able to get through it. And uh, I think that was definitely one of the biggest lessons that I learned from that week. And now after the Elite 11 uh, weekend came to an end, you declared for the University of Nebraska. Why did you choose Nebraska over offers from Oregon, Oregon State, Air Force, Washington, and Washington State? Uh, well, you know, Washington, um, you know, sorry, Nebraska was the, um, I just felt the, um, I felt like my connection to the um, to the school was strongest there. I uh, I when I when I went there, it was I felt very comfortable. It was um, I wouldn't say there was anything really that I can really put in, even put into words. Um, it's just um, the feel that I had there was um, a lot. Yeah, you know, I guess a lot more comfortable than any other school that I was at. So um, you know, I was I was very happy to be able to take up that offer, and only a few weeks later, I was able to commit. So um, it was definitely uh, I was able to, I was happy to be able to get recruitment done early and just focus on my senior year. 
Now, I hold, I held a poll on the Nation Sports Blog fan page, and I asked some of the fans out there to, you know, ask you a question. One of our, fr one of our friends, um, Alex Whiteman, asked, "Why did Nebraska pop out to you as the university that you wanted to go and, and attend?" Um, well, you know, my my uh, main uh, the main schools that I uh, that I considered at the very end um, were uh, uh, Wisconsin, uh, Nebraska, and Oregon. And um, I just felt the most uh, the most comfort um, at Nebraska. You know, the, obviously the uh, facilities are amazing, the fan base is incredible, and um, I really got a great relationship with the coaches. And I really think the, the relationship that I got with the coaches and and other recruits there um, really helped me feel comfortable with me. Christian Boltmeyer asked, "How will you benefit from watching Taylor Martinez, who is currently the quarterback for Nebraska?" Um, you know, he's, uh, I was able to watch him all this year, and I was able to throw, him, throw with him a little bit uh, last summer. And um, you know, he's a great player, obviously. He's um, been able to start the past three years, and, uh, um, you know, he's arguably the biggest name on the team. And um, I think uh, being able to watch him, you know, have, have a great, you know, dual threat uh, mix uh, as a quarterback, which is uh, a little bit, you know, kind of like the way I play. Um, he's a lot of passes to me, but I can definitely um, – I can definitely see how it can fit into that offense by the way that he plays. Now, this is a question that I, will, I have down as well, and my friend Jeremy Moore asked, wants to ask you. What do you think is going to be the biggest adjustment going from high school to college? You know, the, um, people always say that, that the speed of the game is the biggest adjustment whenever you go, at, um, whenever you have, uh, you know, go up, go up to a different level. Um, and the... Uh, you know, the speed of the game is a lot different, you know, trying to find the speeds of the receivers. That, um, you know, my, um, I've, all, I'm, I've always been taught uh, just get to get used to the speeds and angles of different receivers. Um, and, you know, high school receivers differ a lot from college receivers. You know, guys like Kenny Bell, who is, um, you know, one of the, one of the starting wide receivers on, at Nebraska. He's one of the fastest guys on the team, and I've never had to throw to a receiver that has that kind of speed. So, um, you know, getting used to getting used to the speed of the defenders and getting used to the speed of my own wide receivers, I think, is one of the, going to be one of the, most difficult things to do. Now you're going to be going to the University of Nebraska. What are you most forward to? Um, what are you most looking forward to going to Nebraska, non-football related? Non-football related. Um, you know, I'm really looking forward to being able to uh, pursue my, um, you know, pre, uh, you know, I, I, I'm planning on uh, choosing uh, pre-med career choice. Um, I'm not sure what I'm majoring yet in, but I think that's that's definitely my favorite um, my favorite part about uh, the school. That they do offer a good, uh, a great pre-med um, program, and then I'll be able to, um, you know, uh, study that. And I think that the college life there is, is great. I think um, they have such great school pride that I'm really looking, for, looking forward to, you know, being a part of that kind of campus life. What are we to expect from Johnny Stanton in 2013 and beyond? Um, I don't know. I'm, I, I think it's just um, I'm a guy who will always give his 100 percent, um, no matter. No matter if it's in practice, in the game, in a workout, or in the in the, in the classroom, um, I think I, I I think I just want to be someone that Nebraska fans will want to will want to represent them. All right, for our final question, what advice would you give to an underclassman wanting to pursue a college football career? You know, I think you really just got to um, you know go to as many camps as you can, try to get your name out there as a uh, as a as a good player, and you know try to get try to get your name out there to the coaches and. Um, you know, if you're good enough, you're going to go to a great school. All right, everybody, that is Johnny Stanton, Rancho Santa Margarita, California, quarterback for Santa Margarita Catholic High School, New Nebraska quarterback. Johnny, thank you so much for tuning in, man. I really do appreciate you coming on to the podcast. Thanks for having me here.